So I wanted to make a video up today on how to repair my Starlink. Um, so I had the unfortunate situation where a car ran over my Starlink and snapped off the main arm that attaches to the motor. Ignore what I've done here at the moment, but you can actually see where the um, it snapped off and also the cable that's half popping out. Um, now throughout this video I'm going to into, uh, put in some other footage from another camera from when I was actually doing the repairs. So if things are a bit out of sequence, that's why. But I wanted to just go through what I did to fix it, how I did it and where I got the information. Um, so I was fortunate when I, the car went over it didn't damage the front. So I assumed, I was hoping that the actual Starlink itself was still working. Uh, and all I had to do is reconnect the cable. So what I did first is I actually uploaded my situation on Facebook and yes that was very entertaining um, and um, so once I put it up there yes there was a lot of entertaining comments some I had to cop it on the chin like why did you leave your Starlink on the ground to be run over the first time and yeah I just copped all that um, bit of a smile bit of a laugh but there were some great comments that I really did appreciate so thank you to anyone if you're watching this um, a couple the, the two main directions I could have went, um, there was a, a few people that actually just said, go and purchase a brand new Starlink. When I first saw that, I thought, ah, oh, how silly. Um, why, what a waste of money. However, there's actually a lot of merit in that. Um, at the moment, um, with the price of Starlink, and also two months free if you send your email in, or send that through. So it's actually, there was a bit of sense in that, and that was an option that I was going to go down. However, as you can tell with all the tools, I love doing projects. I love fixing things. So I decided I had nothing to lose, so try and fix it. And someone actually posted a great video um, by from a YouTube called Oleg's, Oleg's Lab, I think it is. And um, it's about replacing the connector with a waterproof... Um, RJ45 which is what I've got here so that's actually what I've done so I'll just talk through what I did and then I'll insert the footage of me actually doing it so I'm not going to show all the footage because I'm not um, doing saying how to do the right technique on doing this I, I've never wired an RJ45 myself and in fact I had a couple of tests and um, one worked one didn't and um, the way I discovered that is I have my Intester, which I used from a previous job and, um, or project. And I quickly discovered my first one, the lights were actually out of sequence. Um, so it should be one and one, two and two, three and three. But it was one and two and so on. Which actually meant that I actually wired things incorrectly. So if you're doing this job, certainly pick up one of these. I, just, I think I picked this up from Bunnings, so it wouldn't have been very expensive. Um, so that just helped me practice my terminating the, the cable itself. So what I had to do, again, I referred to the video. So to do the job, I measured 19, found the middle, then 19 centimetres up. And inside here, there's actually a void. Um, and again, I found this on that YouTube video, which was very helpful. So once I found the void, I then drilled in there using a 29mm um, hole saw. So I use this to actually then drill, so I've still got the bit in there, the actual hole in the Starlink. Yes, it was a bit nerve-wracking, however, I had nothing to lose, so we gave it a bill. Um, I did practice on a little bit of um, timber that I just had lying around. Actually, it's part of some of the old board. So, with that, I was able to insert that and just make sure it all fitted beautifully. So, before I went and did the main cut. So, once I drilled that, the other issue I had, the cable um, that snapped, so this cable, so that was going in there, was only popping out about so far. And I didn't have enough room to terminate it, to put a um, RJ45 connector on there. 
So what I did, and again, this was in the, the video, is once I drilled the hole, I was able to get a pair of pliers and actually grab hold of that lead and pull it out. Then that gave me about a lead of it so far. Once I drilled the hole, I was able to pull through the cable using a pair of pliers. Once I've got it, pulled it up through this hole, obviously that wasn't there, I then had probably about so much of lead to work with. Um, so once I had that, I was able to trim it back, actually there it is, trim it back and then terminate it with an RJ45. The reason I needed the 45 is the 45 plugged into the bottom of this plug here. So it's actually just plugged inside and I can then just unscrew this. So once I've terminated that, I then cut my main lead, which goes to my modem. So my main, main lead goes to my modem and um, cut that and then I again terminated that with another RJ45 which um, I then put inside this waterproof RJ45 protector. So all up, um, this is what I ended up with. This little connector and then once that was done I've then glued that on there and um, did a test. What was interesting Oh, sorry, the wiring I used, so the wiring diagram was actually the T568B. There are two versions. So the wiring diagram is actually T568B, if anyone needs to know. Um, what was interesting is when I plugged all this back in, I actually got faster internet speed than we've ever had before. Now, I haven't tested why, so I'm not going to make any conclusions. I'm just telling you what happened. And um, I think you can actually see it on the results, but we're actually getting amazing speed, so very happy with that. It could just be the skies where the satellites are right now. I'm not sure, but we've never had such high internet speed. Or is it because I've replaced a couple of the old, um, not old, but the connectors that they have, these ones with an RJ45, I don't know. Um, if you have any feedback on that, any comments, feel free to put in there. <coughs> but anyway, so I wanted to provide a quick update of how I went fixing my Starlink. And um, yeah, any comments, feedback, feel free to put in there. Um, and yes, I deserve everything I got. I left it on the ground, I ran over it. So, but here we are, we learnt something new.